Thank you for tuning in. In the previous video, I was able to successfully hover the tail sitter, but there were some oscillations. And so in this video, I want to talk about setting up in-air tuning. So we'll be able to tune this with our transmitter while it's in the air. I've done a video previously, I think it's a couple of years ago, that showed how to do some in-flight tuning, showing us how to tune both rate, pitch and roll, PI and D gains. I'm currently connected to the tell sitter uh, using the 3DR radios. I'm looking at the full parameter list, filtering on tune. So what we want to set up is the tune channel. You can see here I have it set up to channel six. I'll show you how that's set up on my Tyrannus here in a minute. So this is the channel that we will use to do the tuning. It's actually a uh, slider on the right side of my remote. Okay, we have the tune channel max and min. Those are the default values of 1000 to 2000, basically our PWM range. Now we'll take a look at tune param. You can see that I have this set at 101. I can't remember if that was the default or not, so uh, I apologize for that, but what 101 will do will allow us to set, you can see these different parameter values here. It will allow me to configure the rate roll and pitch. So we'll be tuning the PID gains for rate, roll, and pitch. Then we have the tune range. Two is the default. This basically says, let's say that you have a value of one, just as an example. So the high end of your uh, slider switch will take that up to two, and the low end will take it down to 0.5. So it's sort of a multiplier for your current value. And lastly, the tune selector. Now this is a value I did change. That's seven. I actually have this on a, a toggle switch, a spring-loaded switch that I can toggle. It's the uh, trainer switch that will allow me to switch between uh, the different tune parameters. So with those tune parameters set up, I'll actually show you the values that we're going to uh, tune with that uh, 101 parameter setting. So we take a look at these parameters. I've just typed these out so when I'm in the air, can look at this and reference them. QA rate, roll, D, then the roll P and I, the pitch D, and then the pitch P and I gain. So those actually reside here in our parameter list. So I believe we start with rate, roll D, that'll be the initial value, and then we'll switch to rate, roll P, and you'll notice that there are two separate parameters, obviously, for P and I, but generally when you're manually tuning, uh, you want these to be identical, so that's why we have the QA rate roll PI. As we're tuning that, both of those values will be tuned uh, together. And then we'll switch to the pitch D and then the pitch P and I gains. Now let me also point out that this process applies to multi-rotors as well as quad planes. So if you have a multi-rotor, you're trying to tune and get that set up, you can certainly use this. But since we have a quad plane uh, setup, we'll be tuning these uh, QA rate parameters. Now let me show the channels that we just went through in our parameter list. We had the uh, tune channel, which I have as six. I have six set up on this slider. And then uh, the tune selector, I have it on this trainer switch. Then I'll be able to toggle it, release it, and it'll go back that will change our parameters that we're tuning. So let me demonstrate how this will work. Now I haven't armed the safety switch, that's okay. This still is gonna work. I wanna demonstrate it on the bench and in the upcoming video, I actually do all of this in the air. So for now, we can see that our slider switch is all the way down. That basically means the lowest value. Now, when you get started in tuning, it's not actually going to take that value because it could be way too high uh, of a value. So as I go back, to midpoint, you could hear the Pixhawk buzzer beep, as well as Mission Planner telling us what parameter uh, we're tuning. Now, as you guys know, this does text to speech, but it's very difficult uh, to understand. That's why I have those values written out, just as I know as I toggle my switch, I'm going through each. We know that the tuning has begun. This is tuning currently rate roll D. So I'll be in the air, I'll be able to move the slider up, for a higher value and then down for a lower. So this is midpoint and as I'm flying, I'll be able to tune that and just see how it behaves. If I start to see oscillations as I go up, I'll bring it down to a controllable level. 
So now what I'll do is I'll just take this switch all the way down and then I'm going to refresh my parameters. We're going to look at the actual value for rate roll D to make sure that we see that changing in Mission Planner. Now I can see here that the value has been halved. It's gone down since I've gone all the way down on my slider. This has been taken in half. So let's go ahead and switch to the next uh, group of parameters. As I reference back to my uh, parameter list, we're currently tuning roll D. Now we're going to tune roll P and I. So that will be rate roll P and rate roll I, which are both 0.25. So let's remember those and then we'll go ahead and switch to the next parameter double it and see if that has taken. So here is our selector switch. I'm going to hold it for two seconds. One, two, then toggle out. And you could hear both the beat from the Pixhawk buzzer as well as uh, Mission Planner trying to talk to us. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring this all the way to the top. And you can hear that it doesn't engage until we hit the midpoint. Just so if you're tuning a parameter really high or really low, you don't want that to, to take. So you need to send it to the midpoint, then you can go down or up uh, to set your value as you test in the air. So I'm all the way up. We should be around 0.5 in Mission Planner. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're back in Mission Planner once again. We know that we're tuning the second parameter in that list, so that's the roll P and I. I've set my slider all the way up, so we'll take a look at P. Yep, that's 0.5, as well as I. And what I'll do next, we know that rate pitch D is going to be tuned, so I'll just hold forward for two seconds. One, two. So now it's starting rate pitch D, and once again, I'll go down to the halfway point and it'll engage. So then I can go up or down to adjust those values. Now, once again, this is going to be in the air. We're going to be tuning and seeing how it behaves. And that will then allow us to toggle to the next parameter to see how that feels. One, two. There, we now have gone through all four parameters. Gone ahead, unplug, Pixhawk, plug back in just so make sure that I uh, reverted those parameters they were not saved. Let's walk through two final components of this tune. So let's say that you want to abort or uh, revert your settings and what I can do is I can toggle uh, out of this flight mode right now I'm currently in Q hover. Let me just toggle out and that will cancel any of our current configuration. So we hear Mission Planner tell us tuning reverted. I'll go back. So that's how you would revert or you could land, unplug, and, and none of those settings would be saved. Now let's actually go through uh, saving those. Let me go ahead and just switch to the next tuning parameter. So let's say we're flying, everything feels really good. We've gone through all of our parameters. All we need to do is hold the switch for five seconds. And then we'll hear a special beep sequence. So let me do that. One, two, three, four, Five. You hear a different beep sequence as well as Mission Planner tell us tuning is saved. So I wanted to share that process that I'll be going through in the next couple of days in the air. I'll try to capture all of that. Uh, I love this process of being able to tune in the air and get those settings dialed in. When that's done, we'll then be ready for forward flight. I will probably extend these elevons just a little bit. We'll see. Uh, once I feel comfortable with that hover. I'll also put a link to the guide. This I didn't come up with this on my own. There's a guide in the Ardu Pilot Wiki. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.